Hi guys, um, this is basically my first video that I'm going to do for my new channel for The Lady Sailor. Um, I'm going to do just a quick one. Um, this is going to show you how to make, um, or how I make, my blooming bath oil. Um, and this is my little station, as you can see, you know, my scale, my... I got way more everywhere else, but we're just going to focus on this part. So first, you need your basically your hardware. And you need a pipette. Sometimes, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. Today I do. You'll need a funnel. Um, a mixer, which I just use a whisk. And um, something to mix it in. I like to use uh, my measuring cup. You'll need a scale. Um, today we're only going to make um, two bottles. I'm going to do a small batch. Um, which is 16 ounces. These are 8 ounce bottles. These are what you'll need. It doesn't matter the shape as long as it's 8 ounces. Um, and your caps, of course. Um, if you use labels, which I do, obviously, you'll need your labels. And you'll need uh, your ingredients, which I use um, two different kinds of oil, well, technically three different kinds of oils, an emulsifier, and my fragrance. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Turn on my scale so I can weigh everything. And we're going to start with two ounces of my emulsifier. We're just going to weigh that out. And almost. There we go. Two ounces of the emulsifier. We're going to need six ounces of my first oil. Clear that out. Six ounces of my first oil, and I'm not going to have enough in this bottle, but that's okay. I have more. I like to get every last drop because this stuff is expensive. And there's six ounces. And we need eight ounces of my next oil. Probably going to run out of this one too, but it's okay. I have more. Only came up a little short. And there's eight ounces. Clear that off. We're going to need <clears throat> six grams of my third oil, which is um, basically a moisturizing oil. It's very, very thick, too. And you basically just have to do guesswork sometimes, but I have figured out the best way to measure out grams, um, because my scale doesn't do grams, but I figured out a way to get it where I need it to be. And then we are going to need an entire ounce of our fragrance. So we're just going to make our fragrance, and we're going to measure out one ounce. All right, and now that we have everything measured out, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we are just going to mix it up, and we're going to do it real slow because we don't want any bubbles. Mm. 
and you only need to mix it for you know maybe 30 seconds it doesn't take much we're just going to scoot our scale well actually no we're going to bring our scale back and we're going to take one of our things put in our funnel and we're going to zero out our scale mm. it smells so good you guys i can't even oh i love it thank you so much suzanne when you watch this you'll know exactly what i'm making since i said your name but it smells so heavenly i love it but we're just gonna pour this right into our funnel and we are going to weigh out eight ounces Whoop. okay oops four six and a half seven and eight. Okay. Just gonna make sure it's nice and drained. Now we're gonna bring our next bottle over real close so that we don't drip everywhere. And because I cleared it out first and I didn't reset my scale, it all goes back to zero when I place the new scale on or the new item on because it's the same weight. And we're basically just going to start pouring again. And we're going to measure out 8 ounces. But because if you measure correctly, you should have little to none left over. But if you do have a little left over, you can use it as samples. Or if it's not big enough for a sample, your own bath. Which is generally what I do because I'm a sucker for bath. There's 7. And I am going to have a little left over. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much that's going to be. But we have 8 ounces of bath oil here. And we're just going to set this to the side before I decide what I want to do with it, whether a sample or my own bath. And we're going to bring these forward and the scooter scale back. And we're going to take excuse me the way that i package these is i will take a little bit of um cling film let me go grab that excuse my son in the background he's having a lot of fun with his toys and just so that it doesn't spill when i ship these when i put out an order, I will take some cling film, like this, and I'll just kind of put it over the edge, nice and tight, take your lid, and screw it on, nice and tight, and trim this off, not all the way, but pretty close to the edge, that way if there is a mishap during shipping, and it gets a little rough, it should stay in the bottle. I'm gonna do that with both bottles. Nice tight cling film. And I'm gonna screw it on. And thank you, Lene, for passing that on to me. And we're just gonna trim it. It. Just trim all the way around until you get it to about where you want it. You're not going to be able to get it perfect, but it's easily removable. It's clean film. It's not glued on or anything. And then we're going to take our labels and we're going to put them on. So. There's one, and here is a little high there. There we go, and there we have it. 
two midnight pomegranate bath oils. Isn't it lovely? And trust me, the smell is amazing, you guys. It's so yummy. I love it. So there we have two finished products. These, this, that recipe made a total of 16 ounces. You could half it or quarter it or even double it. Um, but there you have it. Midnight pomegranate bath oil. I will see you in the next video, you guys. Bye-bye.